Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy, Big CJ. I know you guys are wondering, wait, CJ, you're on a Mana Adventure again. What are you doing? I thought you finished the game. No, apparently I didn't. So, now, technically I, I finished the main game and I finished everything where I'm not looking up things, obviously. This is more of, there's more to do that I haven't done. I was looking at Steam and I realized I only had, I think, 13 of 19 achievements obviously if you've seen the video we have only found one secret tape i never found any of the other tapes so this is that video we're gonna i'm gonna be looking up stuff and watching it for basically the first time or the full thing for the first time so yeah i know that's a long explanation but i just wanted to explain that this is the last episode was technically the final it was the ending, but this is like the bonuses and where all the tapes are and what this fifth ending is. I just want to figure all that out, you know. So anyways, before we start, make sure to subscribe if you have not. I would really appreciate it if you are enjoying the content. And yeah, comment down below, obviously, what are the horror games you would like me to play. I would love to play other horror games, you know. So yeah, uh, let's get started. So basically, there is a paper on when you find the clock hand and there's a guy named Sam a apparently Sam has something to do with Amanda and you have to put you have to put the name Sam in. so if we put the name Sam in So wait, do we... Oh! Oh, we do. Also, all these are here. Okay. So is this the second tape? I guess so. Right, so we say yes to that. Now, this. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so we have an interrogation room. Is that Amanda? Okay, you can't hear anything. I'm sorry. I am ruining it. Okay. So she's signing something. 2002. Wait, is that Hamlin? Wait, I'm trying to think. I I don't know. There's a security guard. Ah. Uh... Okay. Huh. So, Hamelin is on the thing. I saw the little logo. The little mice or whatever it is, that logo. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I have to take out that one. I don't remember. I need the paper here. This is what I... I, I need that. So we need this one. Basically, if you guys don't remember, I found notes before. Hi 
there. We have to go back in Good here. Job. Let's go. The notes. They said vacate. Correct? So basically, we have to, I believe, pause and then put vacate. Or, sorry, facade. I don't, I don't know why I keep saying fake aid. Facade. I got told I said it wrong. Basically, yes. So, this is the tape we need. This is the red tape. This, I believe, is the third tape. Alright, gotta get that tape out. So now, we play this tape. Is this the third tape? It's been three weeks since I think it is, yeah. Producer Sam Colton Sam. was reported missing, and authorities still have no leads. Colton is the creator of Amanda the Adventurer, the public access children's okay. education oh, you remember program that. that became a huge hit among area children. But with Colton's disappearance, the future of the show remains unclear. Okay. Last year, Hamlin Entertainment purchased rights to the live action program starring Colton's daughter Rebecca. <gasps> as budget and production Oh my increased. god, it's his daughter. He imagined the show as an animated series, planning to syndicate the program nationally. Wait. So they already had a show. And Colton's recent disappearance have raised some eyebrows. Wait, and so to further fuel these concerns, new episodes of Amanda the Adventurer have had subject matter that has left local parents uncomfortable about the program. My kids are still really into that show, but it has changed. I mean, I walked in the other day and Amanda was talking about how mommies and daddies aren't always right. I mean, what is that? That's not something you tell impressionable kids. I had to change the channel. I just told the kids that the TV was acting up. It's not yet clear how Colton's disappearance will affect the involvement of his daughter, Rebecca, the show's young star. We reached out to Hamlin Entertainment for an interview. While representatives declined to comment, they did release a written statement. We at Hamlin have concerns surrounding the nature of Sam Colton's abandonment of both our program and his daughter. We cannot speculate on his reasons for leaving. We do ask that the community respect the privacy of Rebecca Colton as she needs time out of the spotlight to process these disturbing events. For the time being, Rebecca's local appearances have been canceled, including the Kensdale Public Library fundraiser, Woolies Readathon, this Saturday evening. Rest assured that Amanda is not going anywhere. Hamlin Entertainment remains committed to our vision for this cherished program. Despite this statement, authorities have not drawn any conclusions about the nature of Sam Colton's disappearance. We will share any future updates as the story develops. When we return, we'll check in with Zappo, the talking gerbil. It's me, your friend, Skip. And with me, as always, is my trusty dog, Chip. What's that? What was that? Blue's Clues? What was that? What was that third party as Blue's Clues? Okay, so. The girl was his daughter. Okay, that makes sense. Did he mention his daughter before? I, why do I feel like he has, but I don't remember. So his, so basically, his daughter had a show. Rebecca, his daughter Rebecca had a show, and I guess they turned it into Amanda the Adventurer. So Hamlin controls Amanda the Adventurer. Was Rebecca signing something for Hamlin? Is that what happened? I don't know, bro. Oh, man. Okay, so... For the next one... I had to restart the game. Oh, look, you can see them over there. Okay, so apparently this flower pot... I remember, I think the first episode... I was looking at this, and I was like, what does this mean? That, and also in the book... If you read the book of the guts, and it has the doll... If you, flip, if you look on the other side of the table, it says this symbol... And I didn't know what it was. I was really curious. That's what it is. So now, we water the plant. It makes a nice flower. Is it I just keep doing this? Okay, and then apparently you give it... So, I didn't realize this. The doll only has one flower. Thank you. That's my favorite flower. So, you give her a second flower. I got a surprise for you, but you'll have to turn around. 
There you go. <laughs> All right, so this is the fourth one. All right. Welcome to Coffee Break. Today, oh God, she looks like a Sadie. The creator of the hit kids show, Amanda. So that's Sam. Sam. And I have to say, a fantastic studio neighbor. Thanks for having me on the show, Sadie. You're a pretty good studio neighbor yourself. Though, I'm going to gain 50 pounds if you keep stocking the kitchen with those delicious homemade cookies. You can't have a coffee break without cookies. <laughs> Sam, last year you started producing Amanda the Adventurer right here in the studio. The whole town loves it. Did you even imagine that would be such a big sensation? Honestly, Sadie, no. <laughs> it was a total surprise. I mean, it's scrappy at best. You know how it is when you have a big idea and a little budget. Um... I don't know if I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Kids don't really care about that, though. They see the heart. And boy, does your show have a big heart. You know, I really have to thank our local librarian, Miss Kate, for being such a champion of the project. I think she's talked about it at every single story time. I think it's just so rare nowadays for kids' shows to be so much fun, but also really teach kids something. Can I, can I pause it? Okay, I can. Question. Sam is... Well, not question. I. Okay, so Sam is acting... He's either acted like the most evil person in the world with this innocent stuff or what I believe it is is that he has nothing to do with this monstrous monstrous I am saying that wrong creation but the thing is he went missing so why why would he go missing unless if like he like took his daughter and like but that doesn't make sense I don't know I can't see it being him doing something so I don't know I mean the way Rebecca was like signing it was very like it seemed forced for a kid so I'm not sure I want to keep watching though what inspired you to create Amanda? I wanted to create a show that teaches children that our world is a magical place. That there are little adventures waiting around every corner in their very own neighborhood. The show is a celebration of kids' imaginations. But really, it's all Rebecca. As soon as I met my beautiful daughter, the inspiration was there. You know, she was so young when I adopted her. And despite what she's gone through, oh, she's, she's adopted. The world with such kindness and joy. She's the light of my life, and it makes me so happy to share that light with our community. She really is something special. Watching huh. her perform is simply delightful. I mean, the whole show is just so cute. Thank you, Sadie. Do you see big things happening with Amanda the Adventurer? I've actually had some people approach me about it. Okay. They want to turn Amanda into a cartoon i can't really talk about it yet but it's exciting we it feels like a dream the idea of welcoming so her name was amanda in the real life show the and they're making a cartoon could really have a big impact. wait so this is before the cartoon sam thanks so much is it having a coffee i think you. so our community is so lucky to have you and rebecca on our next coffee break Floral arrangements for all occasions. Featuring the newest addition to our neighborhood, Rose Matthews of Rose's Bouquet. Until then, may your coffee always be steaming and the conversation sparkling. Are you okay? Huh. Wow. Okay, so originally, so it was originally called A Man and the Adventure. I guess it was an in real life show. 
and they're now making it a so this is before obviously because this is before you went missing before you made a cartoon so no it couldn't have been because there was no issues with like an in real life okay a suspicion on someone uh, or something I guess someone or something I'm not gonna say who I feel like maybe you'll have something to do I, I don't know okay so this one the accidents so for this one this is the important one Wooly's gonna get hurt or he's gonna say oh it's you Jesus Christ, oh, Amanda. No. Had an an so... Was it a knee back. first? Is it all caps? Right. Okay, so nobody... There, there's the achievement on the bottom. Okay, so this is the fifth one. Right? Yeah, that's this is the fifth one. Alright, here we go. Purple tape. Alright. What does that say? Director. Why is somebody recording this? Nah, there's something wrong. Like Sam. Okay, nah. Okay, so my prediction was something with Hamlin. This seems like Hamlin, bro. Okay, so basically, Hamlin be looking a little bit suspicious. Um, Hamlin, are you guys good there? You, what? Okay. What? What was so? She said some weird shit, and then said something was speaking in her headphones. It's like like a demon. Like what is going? On? What? Okay, that one was weird. Okay, so I was looking at the achievements that I need. Basically, there's two more achievements I need. One of them is really weird. I'm going to show it. Uh, and then the other one is the final ending, I guess. So we open this. Uh, we get the water bucket. And apparently if you put this in here, grab the plant and then throw it in here. Are you... Okay. Sorry. I was looking it up again, and I continued it, and it showed the achievement. So, yeah. I'm going to use whatever fudge I had there. That was it. The final thing we need to do is... Blah, blah, I'm sorry. Just... Listen, man. Let's just get this over with. Man, I'm sorry, okay? We basically get the final tape we can share. So, do all this, pick a favorite, then we press yes three times. Is it really okay to share my secret? 
Man, you're acting weird. I'm out there. Somewhere. Yeah. Okay, so... Oh god, what do I do? Brick. Okay, so... If we just... Throw it... Is this the secret... Is this a secret end? Oh! What the hell was that? That was it? Okay, I was expecting a lot more, I'm not gonna lie. But who the hell was that? There we go. Okay, so basically, what I learned, I mean, first off, there was a splish splash. I don't even know if that got on tape very well. I apologize for that. Uh, yes, yeah, so the five tapes, there's a six tape, and I looked it up. I don't know how the hell you get it. I'm going to be honest with you. It's basically just Wooly sitting in a room. That's all there was. It, it So nothing exciting there. So, sorry for that. But, the five tapes. Basically, it seems like... Sam had an original show with Rebecca. And it was called Amanda the Adventure, I believe. This was a... Like, normal kids TV show, but it was in real life. This... So, Hamlin came in and said, Hey... We're, we're going to offer you to do a kids TV show of a man in the adventure, but it's a cartoon. Which, obviously, why would you back down an opportunity from a big company? I'm assuming it's a big company. So, he probably said yes. They agreed to it. It seemed like Rebecca was kind of forced to sign it, even though it doesn't show physically. You can kind of tell by the room and by the security card it was. Then it seemed like in that final tape we watched that she was saying some weird stuff. Weird stuff. I guess it's demonic. I don't really know what it is. Sam was uncomfortable with it. And then Amanda said that she was hearing something. That was the last bit. So that seems like Hamlin did something. So that means Amanda the, Amanda was originally a normal character. I guess played by Rebecca. But now it's kind of almost like screwed up. I don't know. Um all right, we're going to exit out. I'm going to show you guys the achievements to just prove that I got all 19. Okay, so here we go. Right here 100% complete i can show all the achievements they're all here uh, for some reason the splish splash is at the very bottom so yeah i did all these i started this on may 10th and the last bit i did is on the 22nd <sighs> wow now that's a game uh i mean the story seems like there could be more i hope they do more with this because i mean i haven't the tapes were cool and all but they didn't seem like a lot I really like this game for an $8 game. Great game overall. Yeah, I'm I'm happy about it. But yeah, I'm going to end it here, guys. Uh, I know it wasn't like a, a final part. I didn't want to consider this the final part. I wanted to consider this more like an extra, like showing all these other things and me reacting to it. Because I've never seen these clips. So, you know. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. If you enjoy it, obviously. Like I said earlier. And yeah, comment down below if you want more horror content. Horror games, you know, skits, tell me whatever. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day and goodbye.